All right, uh, welcome back to Digital Imaging here. Um, so this next uh, practice here, we're gonna be using mostly the pin tool, but then we're also gonna be trying out some different brushes here. Um, this is your document, and then here is gonna be where you uh, put your pieces <coughs> when you're done here. Um, so for this one, I'm gonna start, uh, this Batman symbol is gonna be the pin tool. This is also the pin tool, brush tool, pin tool and shape builder tool brush tool and then also the pin tool here okay um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this letter R here and um, whenever I start with the pin tool I always try to start with like a straight line um, or like a corner here so I'm gonna start here <clears throat> and I'm gonna make sure I've got a stroke selected here and then I'm gonna just increase my stroke a little bit here so remember with the pin tool it makes paths and anchor points um, so these little dots will kind of tell me where I need to go <clears throat> with my um, paths and anchor points here. So I'm gonna hold shift to make a straight line, click once here, I'm gonna go to my next line, click and drag and kind of make this curve here. Okay. I'm gonna hold alt and I'm, uh, I'm gonna bring in my handle here and pull it in because I know that when I make this next curve, it's going to be that handle's too far out. It's going to mess up my next curve here. Okay, I'm going to pull in. And then this one, I'm also going to hold Alt and bring my handle in. Okay, I'm going to hold Alt. <laughs> bring my handle all the way in here. So I've got a little bit of a cold here, so that's why I'm kind of coughing. Okay, I'm gonna pull up like this. I'll hold all, bring my handle in just a little bit. The pin tool, it just, you know, it takes a little bit of practice. I'm holding shift here to make these straight lines. The pin tool just takes a little bit of practice and getting used to. So, but it is a really good tool to draw with. It's one of the best tools to use here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to where I started. <coughs> and you'll see that I'm completing that path. So that's that little circle emblem there. Okay, now um, I'm gonna adjust this guy here. So I'm just gonna pull this in a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna make this shape here and we're gonna use our shape builder tool to cut that shape out um, of the middle of this letter here. Hold, and I'm holding Alt in to bring my handle in and then complete that path. I'm just gonna change the color here on the fill so you can kind of see uh, what I'm doing here. Grab my move tool, select this. Mm, different color. Okay, and then I wanna use my shape builder tool to cut this out. So I'm gonna select both of these, grab my shape builder tool um, where is my shape builder tool? I'm going to reset Essentials Classic here. Uh, not sure why my shape builder tool is not showing up here. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> so then I'm going to select these. Got my shape builder tool. I'm gonna hold Alt and use my minus and delete that. Okay. This Batman one, I would start with that or you could start with this next one here. Okay, this one's a little bit harder. It doesn't have those handles. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to kind of get it to work. It has some kind of directions, um, but it doesn't kind of tell you everything. So this is where, you know, you're, I want you to kind of start to get the hang of this. Um, and get it to work here, okay? Holding Alt and then bring your handle in is gonna be kind of like your best friend here. Um, 
If you don't get this kind of exactly right, that's okay. Oops, I need to step backwards. Okay, so you notice mine's not like perfect, but it's pretty close here. I could also do this, like this one I need to do in two <clears throat> sections here. And then remember you can always adjust paths and anchor points after you've made them by using <clears throat> your uh, direct selection tool or you can use your um, pin tool to do that afterwards. Um, and then you can also use your smooth tool, which is inside the pencil tool, to kind of smooth stuff out. So like some of my lines aren't quite right. <laughs> So if I go back, if I grab my direct selection tool, I can select this and then I can adjust, you know, some of those handles here. I can also go inside um, my shaper tool and here I've got my smooth tool. Okay. I want to select it first and then grab my smooth tool and like this little bump here, I can kind of smooth that out. Okay. This one I can kind of smooth that out here. <clears throat> and do that, okay? Um, I'm not going to make this one here. You'll have to, yeah, you can kind of watch and kind of figure that one out here. I'm going to make this eyeball real quick. <clears throat> so this, this one is pretty easy. It's going to be a series of lines and shapes. You can change the colors to, I'm going to press enter to get out of the pen tool. Um, but you can change the colors to, you know, to what, whatever you'd like here. Okay. I'm pressing enter. I'm done. I can also use my alt key. Since these are the same, I can repeat those. <coughs> okay. Um, and then I'm gonna grab my shape tool and grab my ellipse tool. I'm gonna hold shift and um, alt and I can make my circle go from the middle out. And that way this will line up here. Oops. that okay and then I'm gonna grab my pin tool and make this little highlight part I'm gonna hold alt bring my handle in like that okay I'm just gonna change the color and that way I can kind of like see everything I want to make sure that all my pieces are layered right okay so I need to cut this out so I'm going to use my shape builder tool I need to select this circle and this circle and then I'm going to grab my shape builder tool hold alt delete that middle part okay and then same thing with this one hold alt Delete that like that. And then <clears throat> I'm going to get rid of the stroke. Okay. So <clears throat> here uh, we can use the brush tool. So the brush tool has, um, there's the brush window, which here has some different brushes. Um, here are some default ones. Um, if you click here, here's your brush library, and you've got a lot of different subcategories. <coughs> so um, here's arrows. I rarely use that one. Artistic, there's some nice ones inside here. Borders for different borders, not really for this. There's bristle brushes, um, some decorative brushes, 
Uh, these are some ones that I've installed, so you won't have those on there. Um, so I would kind of play around with, for this one, I would use the calligraphic ones here. It opens this up here. If you want to attach that back to your brush window, I can pull that off like that. Okay. And then if I grab my brush tool, I can um, click and drag here using that. Okay. Um, I'm making a video. Yeah. Um, so then uh, I can go and draw with this like that. If I want to change the brush that I've already attached here, I can go in and change this one. So that one works kind of like a little bit better uh, than like this one that I just used here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that one. I kind of like that one here. What we're doing is we're doing kind of like some, you know, like Sumi brush drawing here. So I want you to kind of try out using those different brushes here, okay? I can also change the strokes here. So if I want to like adjust, you know, the stroke color, I can do that. I can also change the thickness, you know, so I can change my thickness here. Um, with the brush tool, there's also uh, this uniform here, which will change like the width of the brush. <coughs> so if I click on this, mm, I think I need, I think it's too late for me to do that, but I want to select this first before I start and it'll change that brush profile so it'll go from kind of like thick to thin um, because I've already got these calligraphy ones on here um, I can't really do that here okay um, so there's that one and then this one same thing uh, try out some different brushes again this calligraphy one will work really well for this one uh, you could also try what else is there uh, you could try one of these Paint brushes could be nice. I like these here. Um, what else? Uh, maybe not these scroll ones, but those are pretty cool. Um, maybe some of these ink ones, like this one could be kind of nice here. <laughs> Um, remember with the brush, you can also adjust the size of it. Um, so if I use my bracket keys, which are right next to the P key, I can make this smaller or bigger here, okay? And do that here, okay? So, um, you know, for this one, try out some of these different brushes, okay? I'm going kind of fast here. <laughs> but you can, you know, get this to kind of work like that. Okay. So try out some of those different brushes, try out some different colors, try some different thicknesses here. And then, um, once you're done, you can put those up here. So you wanna just select all those. And then <clears throat> you can hold your Alt key and just copy. Whoops, not sure what happened there. Let me zoom out a little bit. And I'll bring that up there, like that. Okay, 